Pearls, a gem for the ages, adored through time. Where does this journey begin? This is the International Pearl Tour. This video will take you to a freshwater pearl farm in China, as well as a saltwater pearl farm in the Philippines. We start in China, the source of 95% of the world's freshwater pearls. They are the single largest pearl producing country in the world and their research into pearls is accelerating their ability to bring gem quality freshwater pearls into the market. The Philippines produces a much smaller volume of pearls, but they are highly specialized, producing the South Sea cultured pearls. But long before we treat ourselves or the ones we love to a gift of cultured pearl jewelry, we must first breed and produce the mollusk that the pearl grows in. These are baby oysters. They are bred in hatcheries, fed a special diet of plankton, and nurtured for two years before they even start making pearls. The same is done in freshwater mollusks. They must be grown and tended to for years before they are ready to create their pearls. After the mollusk have matured, they are prepared for nucleation. Next, they are nucleated. What does this mean? A bead and a piece of tissue are inserted into the mollusk to start the pearl making process. This tissue comes from a donor mollusk. Freshwater mollusks are nucleated just with a piece of tissue. After nucleation, the mollusks are placed in nets and returned to the water. The pearls will not be harvested for two to three years. What determines the color of the pearl? It's all in the shell. Mollusks produce pearls the same color as their shell. I wanted to show you the gold-lipped oyster up close. South Sea oysters are either gold-lipped or silver-lipped, and you can tell by the ring around the edge of the shell. So this is very clearly the gold-lipped oyster. Some people get confused about the difference in saltwater and freshwater cultured pearls. The difference is in the water. Saltwater pearls are cultured in salt water, and freshwater pearls are cultured in fresh water. The freshwater farms are easier and more affordable to maintain because they are land-based. Here we are on our boat. Look. Look. And Yeson is lifting up, and inside there are freshwater mollusks. Yes. <laughs> Freshwater mollusks can produce many pearls at a time, whereas saltwater mollusks usually produce only one pearl at a time. It's harvest time and the pearls are extracted from these mollusks. A pearl is beautiful as is. It is born whole and complete, not needing further manipulation. However, there are procedures done to enhance pearls after they have been harvested. These pearls are being washed in soap and water to remove any remaining organic material. 
after being washed and dried. They are polished by being tumbled in corn husks or other abrasive material. The journey of pearls continued. They are sorted and drilled. They might receive some post-harvest treatments or coloring. So she's looking through all of those pearls, the ones that aren't of the same color, the same size, she's pushing those out to the side. So these have already been drilled, but now they're sorting the pearls. They are then matched and strung. A technician may have to sort through 10,000 pearls to match one gem quality necklace. Hi, this is India Rose, founder of the Pearl Girls. Thank you so much for letting us take you on this international pearl tour. This is what we experience every year as we travel the globe in search of pearls for the Pearl Girls jewelry collections. It's fun, it's exciting, and it's incredibly personal. It's really our first step in making the Pearl Girls jewelry memorable. We hope you will get in touch with us share your stories, and let us continue to share ours with you. Thank you so much.